Okay, let's go to the foyer of the House of Commons where our Tuesday trio of MPs have rushed into position. There's a marathon of voting going on in the place tonight. They all want to get home for summer. Okay, let's do it in the reverse order of normal. Liberal MP Roger Kuzner is there. NDP Deputy Leader Megan Leslie beside him. Conservative Finance Chair James Rajat near where I was sitting normally. Anyway, let's go quickly on the uh, Senator Mike Duffy and other issues thing. Uh, Megan, your party is putting forward a motion to basically cut off funding to the Senate at the end of this uh, year. Is this a basically just a silly stunt or what kind of point are you trying to make? I think we're trying to make a pretty good point. First, it's a bit strange, uh, Don, not actually having you here and we're looking in the camera. It seems like a <laughs> fake interview full of fakery with us just faking our way through this. It's Stop. remarkable. Uh, but as far as the Senate goes, you know what? It costs $92.5 million a year. That's $92.5 million too much, considering it's an unelected, unaccountable Senate. Uh, senators waste money. Senators file false claims when it comes to their expenses. Senators don't tell the truth about where they live. I mean, these are things, these are known truths. It's time to get rid of this institution. It's been the NDP's position for 50 years. So we have a motion saying, yeah, defund it. If we can't deal with the logistical piece with the Constitution, just stop funding it. We'll see how far they get. Okay, I can't see you guys rolling your eyes, but I'm sure one of you <laughs> is. Um, let's go to you, Roger. What are you sure. making of this, uh, this push, which seems totally unconstitutional to me? Uh, I, I think it is probably can be best termed as a huge exercise in fakery. Uh, the, uh, you know, the, it plays well to the crowd, Donnie. It plays well to the crowd. But, uh, you know, if the, the NDP are serious about trying to position themselves as the, the government in waiting, uh, uh, you know, anybody that pays attention, I think they can see them, see their, their way through this. Uh, we know what it would take to uh, make significant changes to the Senate and, and certainly the abolition of the Senate. It's, uh, you know, it's a constitutional matter. The provinces have to be brought in, all that stuff. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's one that plays well to the masses. It, it's sort of like what the, what the conservatives are excellent at, you know, no tax is a good tax. Let's abolish it. When you have something that, uh, you know, that basic and that sim simple, you know that it's not the right answer. All right. Sounds like we're getting close to the summer silly season. James Rajat, uh, no I, fake answers. Straight I don't know, up. I don't do know where all this fakery is coming from. <laughs> uh, I think they both made good points in terms of fakery, though. I would certainly give them that, Don. But with respect to the Senate issue, I mean, Roger, despite his fakery, is, is correct in the sense of you have to have all provinces vote for abolition. I, we're getting a lot of pressure back home in terms of people saying they want to see the Senate abolished, but there is a process in place. Obviously, the government of Canada has to operate within the Constitution and respect that. I mean, that's why we'll be opposing the NDP motion. In terms of dealing with some of the issues in the Senate that uh, my colleagues have raised, I mean, Marjorie LeBreton has said, let's bring in the Auditor General in terms of looking at the systems. Uh, she's brought in, in terms of our government, brought in measures in the Senate in terms of ensuring that their expenses will be up to the standards of the House of Commons. So we are making some changes there, and we'll, we'll continue to push for reform of the Senate, including election which we do have some elected senators from Alberta. We'd like other provinces to follow the same. Okay, let's uh, move. They are real elections. elections. They are not fake it's elections. Fake. They let's are genuine it. elections. Fakery. There's no fakery there whatsoever. Let's move along to something real and pretty serious, too. The RCMP Commissioner Bob Paulson was in front of a committee yesterday, and he basically dismissed a lot of allegations and sexual harassment and other issues, uh, basically attributing it to three troublemakers. He actually named them in front of the committee. Megan, what's your takeaway from what he said? Is he basically shrugging off post-traumatic stress disorder, which yeah. some say they suffer from? What did you think about that? Yeah, I think the commissioner's comments were pretty unhelpful. I mean, this is a really serious issue, and at the very least, people need to know that if they come forward with complaints, if they come forward with allegations, that they will be taken seriously. I don't think these kinds of dismissive comments are really going to help the situation. Uh, the NDP, we called for uh, you know an arm's length uh, panel that can deal with these issues rather than sort of dragging it through the courts, dragging the RCMP and the victims through the courts. But first and foremost, people need to know uh, that their issues will be taken seriously. And I don't think that was a very good message. Okay. I, I'd be interested in your thoughts on this, James Rajat, because this commissioner, when he did come in, said, I'm I want to clean up the force and, and deal with these allegations. And now he seems to think they're all contrived a little bit. Well, with respect to the specific, I mean, it's hard for me to judge the validity of them. I, I, you know, I don't know if I can step into that. I wasn't at the committee hearing myself. 
I mean, obviously, as Megan said, all of these types of complaints should be taken seriously by the commissioner, should be taken seriously by the RCMP. There obviously needs to be oversight as well with respect to that body. I mean, I think we have to respect the commissioner in terms of the job he's trying to do, but that's why we introduced legislation, C-42, which sought to improve the oversight and, and put in place a model and mechanisms to deal with these types of situations. And that's, I mean, it was, I mean, we were surprised when the NDP opposed the bill, frankly, the Liberals did support it, but it's a good piece of legislation. It's a good model to put in place to deal with these types of situations. Last word to you on this issue, Roger. The last word. Uh, well, uh, and uh, on this having issue, had Roger. an opportunity to, to speak with uh, my colleague, Judy Scroll, on right. this particular issue, she was really taken to as if, you know, the, the, the uh, concerns that have been brought forward and, uh, the, uh, you know, the, that they were trivialized or, or dismissed outright, and uh, it really uh, sent a, a strange uh, sense throughout the, the, the room, I think, when, uh, when uh, the commissioner took that approach. So uh, we know that the, you know, the, the issues are real. Uh, those that are calling the game and supposedly uh, s supposed to be uh, applying the rules, uh, if they're not taking the issue seriously, then I, I think there is a, a cause for concern. All right, I want to finally end with you, Megan, on this. You raised, wrote a bit of an editorial talking about sexism you've encountered on Parliament Hill. Uh, that was back in 2008, I think, when you sort of arrived here. You experienced this right off the bat. But are things getting better? Are you noticing any improvement by the uh, male of the species? I think things are getting better here in the House. Um, it's, it is casual uh, sexism that I was talking about in this piece, the fact that, you know, over the course of the day, uh, I'll talk to eight different MPs who only talk to me about the way I look, or, you know, I go to these end-of-year celebrations where we're all trying to get along, and after a couple of drinks, you know what, I'm tired of being kissed by, uh, you know, Senator X or Journalist X or, or Staffer X. Uh, I'm treated differently because I am a young woman here. I don't think that someone like Peter McKay would have the same problems that I do, uh, nor these two. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think, you know, things are getting better. Um, it's not uh, outright, it's not blatant, but the culture's still here, and, and that's no faking. Oh, okay, enough faking. Okay, I thank you all. I hope to see you next week uh, live and in person. I don't know, is the house going to uh, rise can, can this just, week, It'll be James? a fake house. Can we, can we comment it's on fakery. that, Don? I just, I, I mean, Megan does raise a, a valid point there, and, and she should be respected. I mean, we disagree on many issues. But uh, we have a very good working relationship. She's very intelligent, very capable, and she should be treated with as much respect as any other colleague. But I think the overall, what she raised in her essay, I think, could be applied in terms of overall decorum and respect. And I think we could all seek to elevate that uh, as well. So I, I welcome well, her comments, and I, uh, I'm sure Roger does as well, because he wants the last word on the last this. Word. All right, 10 seconds to you, Roger. Listen, since I've come here, and James and I both came in in 2000, there's two things that stand out with me. The, the Federalists that uh, stand up and battle against the separatists, in, you know, in, in both conservative, liberal, and but uh, the women that that, that hold office and, and that sit in that chamber, uh, I think anybody with any kind of uh, mind at all, holding high regard, uh, those that uh, you know that, that, that decide to, to run for office and uh, and sit in the chamber and uh, hold all their respect. It's unfortunate that some uh, just don't know how to behave, just don't have manners. Okay, Roger, you don't understand the concept of the 10-second clips, but I appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you all. See you next week. Okay, coming.